Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Rhythmy Noted. This time we have Komodo OS 15. I have never used this ROM before and it is kind of very similar to Lineage OS but there are few things here and there which are pretty much different from Lineage OS. So let's check what we are getting with this ROM. So about phone and Android 15 as you can see here Komodo OS 15. This is an official ROM. All the specification of the device you can see here. Security patch level is April 1st 2025 Android version 15 so the UI is a little bit different than the Lineage US but I think this ROM is actually based on Lineage US and the UI as you can see are pretty much stockish you are not getting any theme or anything like that the notification panel is pretty much similar to all other ROM pretty much stockish in terms of customization we do get few things here like wrap tools so in the wrap tools option we do get status bar so all the basic Customization you are getting here like quick pull down, system icon, clock position and all those things. Quite good actually. We don't really need much customization but all the necessary customization are available. Gesture option is available and misc setting or miscellaneous game space is available. As you can see here, disable screenshot but we are not getting any kind of higher FPS in game. That feature is not available here. And that's all about customization, not getting much. In terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and hotspot, everything is working well. Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi also working. Only issue I have found with network connectivity is that the quick share is not working for some reason. It did work first time, but after that it did not work. I did try that many times. And app section is pretty much similar. Nothing new here. Notification as you can see, pretty much similar. Battery. The battery performance is really good of this ROM although we are not getting any kind of fast charging option here but the battery backup is pretty good solid battery backup you can get from this ROM storage sound and vibration working well no issue so as you can see here and we are not getting any kind of part of volume control option so as you can see no option for that display section adaptive brightness is working dark mode night light colors double tap to work and double tap to sleep both of them working so as you can see here no issue at all. Wallpaper and style. Change wallpaper. So we are not getting any kind of AI wallpaper or anything like that. The default wallpapers are here and you can use them. In more lock screen option, we are getting few other things here. We do get AOD. So if I turn it on and as you can see here, AOD you can see. So AOD is working. And there is nothing much going on here. In the accessibility option, there are few things available. Security and privacy, we are not getting any kind of face unlock here, but fingerprint unlock is working well, no issue. So as you can see, pretty fast. And I haven't faced any issue regarding fingerprint unlock on this ROM. As an Android 15 based ROM, we do get private space. So if you want that, you can turn it on and use it. Quite good feature actually. And more security option, we do get trust anti-theft protection so all those features are also available location is working well no issue and in the system setting we do get Xiaomi parts option if you want to calibrate your display setting you can do that from here clear speaker is also available so all these features are available nothing much that's all about setting in terms of application this one is a GFS bit so we are getting few Google application here first of all let's talk about the camera we do get a uh, MIUI camera here which is working well I haven't faced any issue regarding camera video mode portrait mode everything is working and I did install Gcam here Gcam is also working so let me show you that so Gcam is also working so in terms of camera you are not going to face any issue here we do get Google circle to search so it is working slow outside but works well so as you can see here So circle to search is working. Unfortunately, no safety net feature available for this ROM. So bank application not going to work. But you can fix this issue by installing magic hack and few things. But by default, you are not getting any safety net feature. In terms of Google Photos Unlimited Storage, that is also not available as you can see. There is no way you can turn it on. So that's not available. Even the magic editor is also not working. So if I try now it now and it will crash so crash the app in terms of calling although we are 
getting VO LTE and VO Wi Fi, but there is no call recording option, so you can't record call. FM radio is working well, WhatsApp is also working. So, in terms of application and everything, it's working well. In terms of gaming, surprisingly, in gaming, this is one of the finest ROM I have found. Like last few ROMs from Evolution X, CR Droid, all those ROMs are quite good in terms of gaming, but this one is actually pretty pretty damn good so i did play call of duty here and if you're someone who is looking for a gaming rom maybe this one is the best one you can find so in terms of gaming this is an excellent rom overall the ui is also pretty fine actually pretty smooth i haven't faced any issue so everything is working well it is a pretty much usable rom or dealer drivable rom but as i said there are few issues related to safety net and quick share is not working if you someone record videos and share with quick share that is not available first charging is not available and also we are not getting any kind of face unlock feature so these things are not available but all the basic features and everything seems to be working fine one thing which is kind of difficult for this ROM is that so this one is actually a dynamic partition ROM so you have to flush a recovery which support dynamic partition and also you have to repartition the device to flush the ROM so I will put the ROM link and the, all the files link in the description below if anyone wants to try this ROM by the way for gaming this is definitely a good ROM so that's all about Komodo OS 15 thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one